I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to calculate negative powers of complex number pure real number i. We will also see a pattern. The question here is evaluate the following powers of iota i. i to the power of minus 1, i to the power of minus 6, i to the power of minus 9, i to the power of minus 12 and i to the power of minus 3. As you know iota square or i square is negative 1 correct so let's begin from the very first example you can always pause the video answer and then check with my solution when i say i to the power of minus 1 it means 1 over i correct so if i have 1 over i i should rationalize it that is multiply and divide by its conjugate correct now in this case multiply and divide by i itself so if you do that what do you get i over i square right that is what you get now i over i square means i over i square is minus one and that gives you minus i as the result so i to the power of minus one is minus i let's do the next one now which is one over i to the power of six right minus six means reciprocal now we know i square is minus 1, so it's a good idea to write this as i square times i square times i square. Correct? You could do cube of this also, perfect? So, which is basically uh, 1 over minus 1 times minus 1 times minus 1. And that is indeed minus 1, so that is i to the power of minus 6. Let's do the next one, which is i to the power of minus 9. So this time, I'll write this as a combination of i to the power of 8 times i. So that gives me 9 in the denominator, right? So it is i to the power of minus 9. Now, i to the power of 8 can be written as i squared to the power of 4, correct? So 4 times 2 is 8. And we have i here. So what I will do is... I will replace 1 over i with minus i. I can do that since we have already proven that. And in the denominator, we have i squared to the power of 4 means minus 1 to the power of 4. And this is times i. Minus 1 to the power of 4 is positive 1, right? So it is positive. And how about i, 1 over i? 1 over i will substitute the value which we have already calculated. That is this value. Is it okay? So once I substitute that, I get this as minus i, correct? So we get the same answer. So we find these two are exactly similar. i to the power of minus 12 is 1 over i to the power of 12, okay? Which could be written as 1 over i squared to an even power of 6, for example. Is it okay? So 12 is a multiple of 4. And uh, what we get here is 1 over minus 1 to the power of 6, which is an even power. So we get 1 as a result. We'll do the last one later. But let's look into trend. What are we getting? Now, do we have some way to correlate? So let's go back to the Argon diagram, where we put real numbers along the x-axis, imaginary numbers along the y-axis, so this is i right this is i for us and here we have these positions are minus one this is one these are real position and this is minus i correct now let us see what we are getting when i do i to the power of minus one i'm actually moving in this direction and getting this as minus one do you see that when I say minus 6, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I get minus 1. Do you see that? Minus 9. So from here, we move clockwise. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 1, 9. So we get the same value, which we got for minus 1. Minus 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So if it is a multiple of 4, we'll always get 1. Do you see that? So, you get 
one of these four values depending on if it is multiple of four then it is one otherwise it depends on the remainder you get right so similarly what should be the result for i to the power of minus three one two three we expect i as our answer is it okay now let us check it out i to the power of minus one over three is one cube correct which we could write as i square times i now i square is minus one and then we have one over i one over i is minus i so we get minus i over minus one and this is indeed equal to just i is it okay so it is same as what we predicted do you check it so you could go clockwise and get the answers for negative exponents that's what i wanted to check with you if the exponents are positive we'll go counterclockwise but there are only four possible answers and we could get the exact value by finding the remainder when dividing the exponent by n i hope that helps feel free to make suggestions and your comments share my videos and if you like that'd be great thank you and all the best